So the other thing that restores Clotho to the body is resveratrol. And we know that from the skin of the grapes. So you could just take resveratrol. You can also look at the other berries that are like blueberries and other very, very dark berries have this content as well, you know, and it's usually found within the skin. So it's not really found in the fruit of or the sweetness of the berry. It's usually the skin of the berry. So this is what I use a lot too, is resveratrol by Orthomolecular. They have a pretty substantial amount of trans resveratrol. It's about a hundred milligrams per capsule or per two capsules. So that's a way that those two nutrients or those two, I think, herbs, I guess you call call it, are ways that your body can increase clotho production. The other one is, I'm going to say this wrong. I'm not going to say this wrong. It is astrazanthin. Astrazanthin. You can only say it if you don't think about it too close. Astaxanthin. There we go. We got it. It's a tongue twister of a word. It is the famous red pigment that is found in salmon and trout and all those like fish that have kind of that orangey look to them. So shrimp can be like that. Thinking about crawfish. And so that's a really key antioxidant that we're going to see in this case increasing clotho for your body. The other two studies found that vitamin D levels also enhance clotho. So think about it. Clotho enhances vitamin D production. Vitamin D production helps clotho. Well, that's interesting because we have that dance going on in the kidney don't, now, don't we? Omega-3 fatty acids also help with clotho production, probably because of their anti-inflammatory situation. So remember, an omega-3 helps you reduce your inflammation.